24th April 2022 Madhupan Avyakt Bab Dada Om Shanti Revise 31st of March 1990 The Morley's title is Become Merciful and Have an Attitude of Unlimited Disinterest Today Loveful and Merciful Bab Dada It's saying his children who are equal to him. Today, Bab Dada was seeing the children of the whole world who do not know the father. Although they do not know him, they are still his children. In the form of Bab Dada, when he saw the children, what did he experience? That at present, the majority of souls from time to time due to one reason or another knowingly or unknowingly need to receive mercy and that because of this need the content remember the merciful father so according to this need in all four directions they are calling out for drishti filled with mercy firstly because there isn't balance between their minds and intellects due to various problems they continue to call out with a lot of sorrow and out of desperation to the merciful father or to those in whom they believe for mercy because of not knowing the father those ignorant souls call out to the founders of their revolutions to the gurus or their special deities considering them to be merciful however all of you know that at present mercy cannot be received from anyone except the one father the supreme soul even if the father makes any special deity or elevated soul an instrument in order to fulfill the desires of those souls or in order to give them the reward of their pure feelings the best of all is only one this is why according to the present time the merciful father is telling you children the cooperative companion arms of the father are you brahman children so by being given what they need they became very happy so how you became master merciful they are your brothers and sisters whether they are real ones or step ones they are still part of the family therefore become merciful for those souls who do not have knowledge a distressed soul belonging to your family mercy should be from your hearts mercy it's also needed for the unknown souls of the world along with that merciful hearts are needed for an intense speed of effort and for self progress of the brahman family when you become merciful for yourselves to have self progress you merciful souls constantly and naturally have an attitude of unlimited this interest each of you should have mercy for yourself and that same soul who belongs to the highest on high power and i have that same aim of becoming equal to the father according to this if there is any weakness in your original elevated nature and sanskars then the mercy in your hearts will enable you to have this interest in witnesses Bhaktada was having a spiritual chit chat today saying about all the children being very clever when it comes to knowledge you have become embodiments of the points but there are points for knowing each weakness you know what should happen what you should not do and you know that you have to become an embodiment of a point however 
you do not know how to apply the point of a full stop to whatever wasteful things you saw or heard or that were done by you. You have the points, but what is especially needed for becoming an embodiment of a point? Mercy for yourselves and mercy for others. You must have seen true devotees on the path of devotion. All you yourselves may have been a true devotee. It is recorded in the soul, is it not? True devotees are always merciful and this is why they are afraid of performing sinful actions. They are not afraid of the father means bath, but they are afraid of sin means pap. This is why they are saved from performing sinful actions. So those who are accurately merciful on the path of knowledge have the power to step away from three things. Those who do not have mercy do know and understand, but they are still influenced by three things. They are carelessness, jealousy and dislike. 90% of the reasons for weakness are these three things. Those who are merciful have a pure desire to stay away from the punishment of Dharamraj, Baba's companion. Just as devotees, due to fear, are not careless. In the same way, because of love for the Father, Brahman souls do not become careless due to the sweet fear that they would have to go through the land of Dharamraj. Love for the Father enables you to step away from that. The mercy in your hearts finishes your carelessness. When there are feelings of mercy for yourselves, then as is that attitude or awareness, so you automatically become merciful for the whole Brahmin world in the same way. That is accurate mercy based on knowledge. Mercy without knowledge can sometimes create a loss. But mercy based on knowledge does not allow feelings of jealousy or dislike for any soul to emerge in your heart. Along with having mercy based on knowledge, you also have intoxication of your own spirituality. There isn't simply mercy, but there is a balance of mercy and spiritual intoxication. This is because if it isn't mercy based on knowledge, if it is ordinary mercy, there is then the possibility of your being influenced by that soul, whether in the form of attachment or a weakness. You must not even be impressed. You should not have any dislike or become impressed because you, including your body, mind and intellect, are already impressed by the Father. Since your mind and intellect have become impressed by the One, the Highest on High, how can they be impressed by anyone else? What would you say if you are impressed by others? To use for yourselves what you have given away is called being dishonest with something you have been entrusted with. Since you have given your mind and intellect away, they are no longer yours, that they could be impressed. Have you entrusted them to the Father or have you kept half and given her. Those who have given them fully, raise your hands. Look, what is the foundation, the great mantra of Brahman life? Man mana bhava. So, have you not become man mana bhava? A soul who is merciful on the basis of knowledge cannot be impressed by souls, whether it is because of their virtues or their service or because of attaining some form of cooperation from them, because such a soul has unlimited disinterest. 
He does not see anything except the Father's love, his cooperation, and his company. Nothing else enters his intellect. The soul always has the awareness. I wake up with you. I go to sleep with you. I eat with you. I do service with you. I became a karma yogi with you. Even if he does take a cooperation from an elevated soul, who is the bestower for that soul. So the intellect would only go towards the father. Would it not take cooperation? But do not forget who the bestower is. Whose directions do they by in order to give you cooperation? Srimad is only that of the one father. When an instrument soul reminds you of the father Srimad, it is not said to be Srimad of that soul, but that soul is following the father Srimad and reminding others to follow it to instrument souls and elevated souls would never say, follow my directions. My directions are Srimad. They remind you of Srimad once again. This is called accurately taking cooperation and giving cooperation. It is not said to be the Srimad of a Didi or Dadi. They became instruments and remind you of the power of Srimad. This is why you must never be impressed with any soul. If you are impressed by anyone in any respect, whether it is because of the praise of that one's name, that one's beauty or speciality, your intellect will become trapped due to your attachment or being impressed. Then if your intellect becomes trapped, you cannot have the flying state. You can even become impressed with yourself by intellect is a very good planning intellect. My knowledge is very clear. No one else can do service in the same way that I can. I have an inventive intellect. I am virtuous. Do not be impressed with yourselves in this way. You have specialities. You have a planning intellect. But who made you an instrument for doing service? Did you know what service is? This is why for self-progress, it is essential to be merciful accurately on the basis of knowledge. Both jealousy and dislike will then finish. The main reasons for the lack of a fast speed are jealousy, dislike and being impressed by others or yourselves. The fourth thing you heard, carelessness. This happens anyway. It will happen. We will be ready on time. This is carelessness. Bab Dada had told you something amusing previously too. The farsightedness of Brahman souls is very clear. But your nearsight is a little weak. This is why the weaknesses of others are seen very quickly, whereas your own weaknesses are seen later. To have a feeling of mercy became loveful and also merciful, for by doing so, your heart will have this interest. When you hear this or when you have a bhatti or a spiritual chit chat, you all think, this is what we have to do. There is temporary disinterest. It isn't from your heart. Let your heart have disinterest in whatever the father doesn't like. Even if you yourselves don't like something, now use the cloth of having an attitude of unlimited disinterest. Become merciful. Some children see many good things. They say, I get very angry when someone does not tell the truth. I get angry because of their lies or when someone makes a mistake. Otherwise, I don't get angry. It is understood that the other one told lies and that you consider that to be wrong. However, when you become angry, do you think that's right? How can a 
person who is wrong correct someone else who is wrong? How could something such a person says make an impact? You do not see your own mistake at that time. But you make a big thing of a little lie that someone else told. Became merciful at such a time. Became merciful with the powers you have attained from the Father and give cooperation. You keep a good aim that you are seeing that person from telling lies. The aim is good and so congratulations for that. However, what was the result? The other one failed and you also failed. So how can someone who has failed make the other one who has failed pass? Some of you then think that it is your responsibility to make the other person good and make him move forward. However, those of you who are fulfilling the responsibility have you fulfilled your own responsibility at the time that you are fulfilling the responsibility of others. When some become instrument teachers, they think that they are responsible for the little ones and that they have to give teachings to them, that they have to teach them. However, you must always think that the knowledge that is accurate will be the source of income. If you give teachings on the basis of the responsibility of a teacher, then foresee whether there will be an income accumulated to those teachings, whether it will be a source of income or whether it will be a source of falling down. This is why Bab Dada always says that whenever you do anything for stabilize yourselves in the stage of a trikhal nursery and then do it, do not simply see the present. This one did this and so I said this. Also, see what the future result would be. Is your stage according to what the past original eternal stage of Brahman soul was? Is and will be? Check all three aspects of time. So, do you understand what Bad Dada wants? You will have self progress, but what transformation will you bring about? Whether someone is a Maharati or someone is new, Bad Dada has one pure desire. As yet, you haven't done as much as Bad Dada wants. Baba should tell you the result. Should he not? However, Bab Dada does not want temporary disinterest. There has to be real disinterest. I mustn't do. Think or speak what the father doesn't like. Bab Dada calls this love of the heart. At present, it is mixed. Sometimes it is love of the heart and sometimes it is love of the head. Each bit of the rosary needs to be close to every other bead, loving and cooperative for progress. The rosary is waiting for this. Because for the rosary to become ready, you have to come close and loving to one another, like the dual bead. First, the rosary of 108 has to be created. Only then will the others be created. Babdada sits down to make a rosary many times, yet it has not been completed. A bead comes close to another bead. That is, the father treads that bead when the bead has three certificates, liked by the father, liked by the Brahmin family, and also liked by oneself according to one's accurate efforts. When Babdada checks these three aspects, the beads remain in his hand, for they do not pick and trade it in the rosary. What slogan will you remember this year? You have to receive the three certificates from the Trimurti Father in the three special relationships, and you also have to become cooperative in enabling others to receive the certificates. You have to become 
a close bead of the rosary. So, did you hear what self-progress you have to make? So, what was the foundation of the number one transformation of Father Brahma? Unlimited dust and trust. Therefore, Brahma did what the Father said. This was why he won and became number one. Acha, Baptada will save this result. Each one of you should look at yourselves, not at others. Some of you think that today is the last day of the season. But Babdada says it is not the last day. It is the first day of the season to make the rosary. Everyone has a chance. The beads are not yet threaded in the rosary. They have not been mixed. Take the three certificates and become threaded. To the extent that you give visible proof, that is to the extent that you are seen as the ones who give visible proof on your faces and in your activity. Accordingly, you will see many interesting things once again. If you stay the same, the same things will stay in front of you. This is why you must bring about newness in yourselves. Bring about a new wave of fast efforts in the family. Then as you move ahead, just see how many beautiful scenes you will see. Whatever has happened until now is the past. Now let there be new zeal and new enthusiasm in every action. Continue to fly with this wings. To all those who cooperated in doing service, that is, those who accumulated their fortune, you did well, whether you are from this land or abroad. The servers from all four directions did very good service. This is why Babdada always tells servers to be a server means to be one who takes the fortune of a golden chance. Now continue to increase this fortune wherever you go. Do not let it decrease. So the chance of the short period will constantly continue to give you a golden chance for fast efforts. Congratulations to all the servers, those who have gone and those who are going. Acha, to all the merciful, elevated souls, to the intense effort-making souls who take themselves into the flying stage of self-progress, to the experienced souls who constantly experience the Father's company at every moment, to the souls, the lambs of the clan, who constantly fulfill the hopes of the Father's heart, to the victorious souls, who constantly make themselves the close beads of the rosary to those who follow the Father and become equal to the Father by having an attitude of unlimited disinterest at every moment to the extremely loving right hand children. Babdada's love, remembrance and namaste. The spiritual children says namaste. And good morning to the spiritual father. Blessing. May you be an easy yogi who constantly experiences happiness by your attainment emerging. Explanation. The basis of having easy yoga is love and the basis of love is a relationship. It is easy to have remembrance with a relationship. All attainments are reserved with a relationship. The mind and intellect easily go where there is attainment. Therefore, let your intellects emerge all the treasures of powers, knowledge, virtues, happiness, peace, bliss and love that the Father has given you all the attainments you have had. And you will continue to experience happiness and become easy yogis. Slogan 
those who stay beyond all questions stay happy in their hearts om shanti